That was a bit optimistic. Good morning internet. It is a quarter to eight in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in not such great weather. It is uh, raining and uh, cloudy and misty. The power also just went out. So um, I hope I can have breakfast next door if that's all functioning. And um, yeah, today I was planning to uh, explore the island, the northern island. But I really hope it's gonna clear up a little bit uh, soon. That would be nice. Let me see. Oh, I see they're closed. Yeah, so the restaurant is closed. Probably because there's no power. That that makes sense. So now, now I can't have breakfast. Oh dear. Maybe the power, power will come back. And the weather will clear up, hopefully. It's not a very big island, so I'm not really in a rush. I can leave a little bit later. That's no issue. So uh, let's give it some time. It is now 10 o'clock. The power was out for about two hours. I don't know why. It seems quite unusual actually. So as soon as the power came back, I quickly had a breakfast. And now it's time to go and explore the island. It has also cleared up a little bit. It's not raining any longer. There's still some mysterious clouds hanging over the mountains. So I'm going to explore, this is Graham's, Graham's Island, I think. So I'm gonna make a circle, make a loop, and then this afternoon catch the ferry to the other side, to the southern island. Quickly going to, there's an ATM here, to get some cash out. Because I think I'm gonna need that later today, you'll see in a bit why. <laughs> um, I think I saw an ATM here. Nice notes, eh? Queen Elizabeth on it. I believe this is one of those places where the weather can change really quickly. And it can go from sunshine to rain to, I don't know, anything in between <laughs> very quickly. So let's see what, uh, what we can find today. Yeah, I'm heading straight into the forest. There are loads of bears on this island too. I think they're mainly, no, probably all of them are black bears. I don't think there's grizzly bears here. What a mysterious forest. It must be pretty wet here, year round, I'd say, if you look at all the moss everywhere. It's stunning. Let me see here what I'm gonna do because I was planning to go and check out these islands here and then continue but I just have to see if I have time because I have an appointment <laughs> appointment in a place called Port Clements. Yeah, I think I, uh, I think I have time because <laughs> my appointment in Fort Clements, Port Clements, whatever, is uh, at a hairdresser because <laughs> I actually really need a haircut, and uh, it's the only hairdresser on the island that I could find online. So yesterday I rang up, and uh, I have an appointment at 11:30, uh, which is in an hour. Why is it running on the road? Just, just 
just go to the forest. Just run to the side. It's running like 40 kilometers per hour. Sorry, little guy. Just, just run into the forest, dude. Oh, another deer. That was a big one. There's another deer. See? It's just standing on the road. <laughs> it's very relaxed. Where did it go now? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hi. It's beautiful. You're not afraid of me. Huh? <laughs> oh, and there's another one there. Ah, it's full of deer. So I'm just walking on the road. So Haida Gwaii consists of two big islands. I'm now on Graham Island, which is the northern one. And then you have Moresby Island, which is the southern one. And then there are 300 small islands that are all part of this group. And Haida Gwaii basically means land of the Haida people. 
and archaeological evidence has shown that the Haida people have been living on these islands for 13,000 years and their population used to be a lot bigger so when the first European people came here somewhere in the 1700s there were 30,000 Haida people living here and unfortunately if you've seen my other video where I visit some uh, First Nations people okay one second check this out amazing right how many dead trees there are in the water here same over there um, so yeah I've been talking about uh, smallpox kind of wiping out entire First Nations communities and the same happened here so during the 1800s 90% of the Haida people uh, died of smallpox and eventually in the 1900s there were only 350 people left and luckily now that number has has grown so at the moment I believe there are about 4,500 people living here of which half of them are indigenous Haida people so yeah it's very I find it very sad to to learn because I honestly I had no idea I didn't really know anything about these lands here and so only now that I've really learned what yeah what happened when Europeans came here and brought smallpox to the people here it's really sad and there's so much wildlife I mean I've seen all these deer um, but they also apparently when it comes to black bears actually have the largest subspecies of black bear that lives here so well, okay I still haven't seen a bear today only loads and loads and loads of deer Anyway, can I pass this somehow? I might be able to, to pass it on the side, but then ahead I can already see the next tree. So maybe I should try and find a, a better way. Although this would be amazing to ride through. This forest is so beautiful. You know, you can think a forest is a forest, but this is definitely an incredibly beautiful forest. I don't know how well you can see that on the on the branches there. It's just growing everywhere. This road is not even on the map. So I'm kind of heading in the right direction. But where exactly it leads I don't know. I need to, to get on the other side of the river. So let's see, I'll just follow this for a while. I have four minutes left for my appointment, so perfect on time. Hi! Nice bike! Thanks! <laughs> Found it! Hi! I'm, I'm your Ataris because of your accent. Sorry? Are you a Taurus? Yeah. Oh, because of your accent. Yeah, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm from the Philippines. You're from the Philippines? Yeah. Oh, have, nice. have you met some Philippines? Yes, yeah, yeah, plenty. From which place in the Philippines are you? Where, where did you live? Um, from Luzon. The new president is from where I came from. Ah, okay. Yeah. I always feel like the worst customer at hairdressers because they make it all look very nice and then the first thing I do is put my helmet on <laughs> oh I always feel so bad but anyway that is done so super happy with that let's continue today's ride um, I am still well, I still have a little bit to go north towards well the most northern point of the island I guess and then uh, I'll kind of make a make a little loop and go back down the other side probably. It's 
quite interesting because I'm riding in the forest, but the beach and the ocean are just here. <laughs> so I'm trying to get to the beach somehow. Maybe over here, this will maybe lead to the beach. Definitely a bit sandy already here. Uh, no. get to like the, the hard set though that's that's a bit tricky because there's trees everywhere I just want to get over there. I was a bit optimistic. Ah, this is better. It's easier to ride. Ah, look at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how to get off the beach. That's a bit of a thing. Maybe I have to go back where I came from. I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping to 
be able to get from the beach here, but I don't know if it's even possible. Maybe not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me have a quick look. There's no path here. <laughs> I was hoping for a path to get off the beach. have to get back where I came from. That's fine. A little bit more beach riding. So much fun. <laughs> I am having way too much fun on this beach. Back in the forest. Just amazing, right? And now it feels like I'm super deep in the forest, but the beach is literally <laughs> just there, on the other side. A bear, a bear, a bear. There's a black bear on the road. Oh, it's massive, it's massive. Look, 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 look. There it goes into the woods, it's standing there. <laughs> and you know, this is the second black bear of the day. Oh, I saw another one. Maybe uh, half an hour ago, I saw another one, but I didn't catch it on camera. That one was sitting uh, on the side in the grass and I just passed it and as I passed it I, I look it dead into the eye and then it immediately ran off so there was no point in uh, trying to turn back oh, but this one is just, it's just walking across the road oh, that puts the count on five bears in total now two grizzlies and three black bears <laughs> What a day! I'm back at the Queen Charlotte and I'm just immediately <laughs> hopping on the next ferry. This one goes across to the Moresby Island, the southern island. It's only a 20 minute uh, ferry, but it uh, leaves in three minutes, so <laughs> my timing was impeccable. Here? And we're off. <laughs> we're already almost there. It really is a very quick hop. Just from the one to the next. We are here. So I'm just going to ride to a town called Sand Spit. I think it's actually the only town <laughs> on the southern island and I also don't think there's a lot of roads at all so it is now uh, almost 7 o'clock 7 p.m. so in the end it was kind of a long day I don't know where the time went I only spent an hour at the hairdresser well, like forever but um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, ride to that town and then in the next video I'm going to explore this island but, as I said, there's pretty much no roads so I am going to explore this island in a different way Oh, how am I going to do that? You may wonder Oh, the suspense! The suspense! <laughs> oh, look at this 
Sach Creek. So yeah, I am going to end this video now. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Um, so I really hope you liked it as well. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Oh, it's so beautiful here.